In our previous video, we talked about the importance of proper diabetes management. We define the main types of diabetes, and talk about their differences. If you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead and watch it, it is very important to understand this video. The complications of diabetes can be of two types. Acute, and chronic complications. Acute complications of diabetes occur when blood glucose levels fall outside of normal range. Normally, the food we eat breaks down into small particles of sugar called glucose. Our pancreas detects high levels of glucose in the blood, and produces insulin, which acts as a key for glucose to enter the cells of our organs and be converted into energy. When someone has diabetes, their body does not produce insulin properly, therefore, glucose cannot enter cells and accumulates in the blood, producing hyperglycemia. Since cells cannot use glucose for energy, they have to produce it from the transformation of fat into acids called ketone bodies, which when accumulated in high concentrations, can be toxic to the body and can threaten your life. Symptoms of hyperglycemia can be, excessive thirst, an increased amount of urine, nausea and vomiting, stomach pain, tiredness or weight loss. Hyperglycemia can also occur due to other conditions that the patient has, such as infections for example. To prevent this complication, we must take adequate control with diet, exercise and medications that lower the concentration of glucose in the blood, known as hyperglycemic agents. For example insulin or sulfonylureas. By using them, glucose can re-enter the cells of our organs, and produce energy. However, an increased dose of these medications or an insufficient diet can cause the blood glucose concentration to drop below the lower limit of normality of 70 mg per deciliter, causing hypoglycemia. Another acute complication of diabetes. When there is not enough glucose in the blood, our organs are suddenly wiped out of a product to produce energy. Therefore, sweating, fatigue, tremor, anxiety, tachycardia, confusion, blurred vision, seizures and loss of consciousness can occur, among others. To avoid this complication it is important to measure glucose levels frequently, and to know what the symptoms of hyperglycemia are. Treating hypoglycemia quickly prevents severe symptoms that require the help of another person. If symptoms of hypoglycemia begin to appear, they can be improved with 15 grams of fast-acting carbohydrates such as, an envelope or tablespoon of sugar, half a glass of non-diet soda or juice, one tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of raisins or four saltine crackers. Check your glucose level 15 minutes after this and verify that it has returned to normal. This process should be repeated until glycemia is greater than 70 mg per deciliter. If the person is unconscious or unable to eat, someone should apply glucagon according to the instructions of their health team. If despite treatment, the patient's mental state does not improve, or their glucose levels remain below 70 mg per deciliter, the patient should be directed to a health center immediately and their care team should be called. In our control goals video we will talk more in depth about treatment. Producing this video, required working together with doctors, scriptwriters, graphic designers, animators, and our narration editor. We have a huge library of videos. Subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell to see them first. If you like the way we explain, and you want to sponsor one of our videos, please visit our website, or contact us at the email that appears on the screen. If you would like to support us, please become our Patreon. You will find a link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.